Next, we're going to talk about the amplifier envelope. The great thing about this amplifier envelope, it's just an ADSR envelope. But the thing about it that's awesome is we get to see the shape. Right now, we have zero attack, zero decay, uh, a big sustain, and no release. That's what I've been playing with. Okay, so we have a graphic representation of what the envelope waveform is. So if we add some attack, we can specifically see the time it's gonna take from the sound to go from its lowest volume to its highest volume. That we can very plainly see, and that's your attack. So you perfectly can see visually demonstrated your amplifier envelope, which is the same as turning a volume knob up. It takes you that long to turn the volume knob from zero all the way up to 10. That's exactly what we're seeing. So never before in any synthesizer have I ever seen such a clear uh, real-time means of giving you what the envelope is doing. Let's create, let's turn off the sustain and create a decay here. You can hear the sound get louder as it goes up and then you can hear the sound diminish as it goes down. So you can plainly see what the envelope is doing. And you'll notice that I'm holding my finger down here for the sound. If I let go of the key while the sound is in progress, then the sound will stop without going entirely through its decay. Um, but if you hold it down, of course, you'll get it all the way through. Now sustain, and this is a great portrayal of what sustain is. It's hard to explain what sustain is, but because we have this graphic representation, you can see specifically what sustain does. Sustain is a sustain voltage or level that you place somewhere on the line that is the decay. When the decay gets down to that level, it will hold that level or voltage until you let go of the key. You can set it very low. But then you get to have the sound continue as you're holding the key when you're playing the synthesizer. You can even turn it up so high that it eradicates the level uh, goes all the way up to the highest volume of the sound, thereby eradicating the decay. But it allows us some variation in our shape. And of course, uh, when I remove my finger, the sound just stops. So that's what release is for. Release defines the amount of time it takes to get from the sustain level uh, to zero. So we can have sounds that fade away after we take our fingers off the keys. If we destroy the decay, you can hear it flip down to the voltage level of the sustain or the level of the sustain and then the release. If you have the decay set to zero, the release just goes from whatever point you let go of the key to zero. And so this basically, all the envelope does, and I know this is probably a refresher for some of you, all the envelope does is it's a map of different volumes the device is turning the sound to, like turning a knob. This is the time it takes you to turn from zero all the way up to the loudest, so zero to 10, and then down to five where you hold it until the key is let go, and then it goes from five to zero over the amount of time that the release is set to. That envelope is like the basis for voltage control that we'll be talking about. We can apply that concept of the volume knob directly to the filter. So if we apply an envelope to the filter, instead of it being a volume knob, it is the voltage of the filter cutoff knob, the filter cutoff point. If you turn it up, that's opening the filter up. If you turn it down, that's closing the filter up. Wow. Wow. Wow.
So the same as doing what I just did. I have just turned that knob in the shape of an envelope. Let's listen. So if we do the things we just did with the amp envelope, we just heard the filter open up to the most open point and then close back up as it went down the decay. So it's the same as volume, but instead of volume, it's the filter cutoff point. And we have a little more control over it in the sense that we can do amount. Well, you can also do amount in the amplifier envelope too. Uh, if we go to um, VCA envelope amount, we can not only control the amount that the envelope controls the amplifier, but also the velocity amount. We could direct it all to velocity and then how hard you hit the key depend controls how much the envelope affects the amplifier. That's something we didn't talk about, but back to the filter. You can see the filter, the filter cutoff points arc in the envelope. See, that's where we have, we've set the sustain, so the filter cutoff point is sustained at a certain level. We can turn that down. And there's a darker level, it's more closed. And we can turn it down yet again. And then it's sustained at that darker, the filter cutoff point is even lower. So it operates in the same way as the amplifier envelope. And if we have some release time in the amp, we can hear the release time of the filter, which means the filter closes as you let go of the note. See how it goes as I have let go. And we have this again, benefit of seeing this all visually. Now each filter here has its own envelope. So we can set these envelopes to different values. Like this first envelope or the second envelope we can set so it's very short. And we can set the first envelope so it takes has a long attack. So we hear the first envelope the first filter does its wacky little thing. Here, let's make it really distinctive. Okay, so that's the sound of the envelope on the first sound. So you can hear the, the second filter do its quick little bump that we're showing right here. And then it will be gone and we'll hear the second, the first filter fade in with its sound. This will help. So with these two filter envelopes attached to two different filters, you have the ability to control the filters independently with envelope control, which allows you to create really complex sounds. What we haven't talked about is that there are actually two more envelopes. So you have an amplifier envelope, which is controlling the amp, but can be directed through uh, modulation to a number of places. Uh, you also have the two filter envelopes that can also control things other than the filter. And then on top of that, you have extra <laughs> envelopes that you can direct to control whatever you want. Uh, so you actually have five envelopes to control 
not only the things that are hardwired to control, but also other functionalities. Like for example, here's envelope four. I'm gonna direct it to the frequency of oscillator one. Then we'll create an envelope for it to be. And then we'll do the amount. And if we look at the shape, this is the what the pitch just did. The pitch went up, it came back down, it went over, and then it, it, it held on as long as I held the key and then I let go and it stopped. And that's just like turning the volume up. It's just like opening the filter and closing the filter. This time we're just talking about a pitch knob. You're just turning it up and back down using the envelope. Let's add another oscillator in and we could control the second oscillator with the other envelope. We have another one, envelope five. Oscillator two's frequency. Let's create a, a nice shape for that guy. And now we're gonna add the amount. Okay, so on this, on, on envelope five, we've given a long attack time, much longer than the attack time for envelope four. So oscillator one's pitch is going to, it's going to reach its highest point much quicker than oscillator two does based upon how these, this envelope is controlling its pitch. Oscillator one's already reached its highest point. Oscillator two is still rising. Oscillator one has gone down and oscillator two has reached its pitch that it's, uh, that it's sustained pitch as well. And we can control that right now. So as we change the various functions in the envelope, we're changing the pitch of the oscillators. So you can actually tune them. There. Uh, so now we have them ending up on a nice major third. But anyway, you can see how these envelopes, we only use them to control pitch, but they also can be used to control any number of factors, including the amount of distortion, the amount of various effects. These envelopes can control uh, waveform modulation, anything over the period of time uh, that you define with them. And that's why it's fantastic that we have so many different envelopes on this synthesizer.